Welcome to NLL Halftime. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave Walls of the Lacrosse Network. We'll get you back to your game in just a few minutes. Right now, let's take a look at the NLL standings and league leaders heading into this week's action. Week 9 of the 2014 NLL season. First in the NLL Eastern Division, after Week 8's action, we've seen a little bit of separation. The Buffalo Bandits have established themselves with a 6-2 record and sit comfortably atop the division. Rochester kept pace last week with a win, now sitting at 5-2, just half a game back of the Bandits. Meanwhile, near the bottom of the division, the battle for third place remains tight. Toronto with a 3-4 record sits 2.5 back of the Bandits, while Philadelphia is in the middle of a three-game losing streak, now sitting at 3-6, back. Minnesota clings to the bottom of the division, fighting for answers with a 1-6 record. Meanwhile, in the NLL's Western Division, it's a bit of a different situation. The Edmonton Rush currently lead the league with a record of 7-0, only the third team in NLL history to achieve this feat. Meanwhile, the rest of the division is simply up for grabs. Calgary sits a full three games back with a record of 4-3 and, and is the only Western Division team active this weekend. Colorado and Vancouver currently have the weekend off and are battling out near the bottom, with the Mammoth with a record of 4-6 and, and the Stealth battling with a 3-7 and seven record five and a half games back of Edmonton. With every game so important, it's no wonder teams put an extra focus on who's getting the job done in the face-off circle. When you're speaking about face-off experts, you're thinking about one family name, the Snyders. Currently, Bob Snyder of the Colorado Mammoth leads the league with 168 wins inside of the circle. With a face-off win percentage of near 60%, Mammoth fans know that when Snyder steps in the circle, chances are he's coming out with the ball. And of course, NLL fans know there's not just one Snyder in the circle getting it done. There's two. Jeff Snyder of the Calgary Roughnecks has 133 wins inside the circle on the season. However, he has a higher win percentage inside of the circle of over 65%, meaning if you're going into the circle against Jeff Snyder, chances are you're not coming out with the ball. In third place is Jay Thornbear of the Buffalo Bandits with 120 face-off wins and a win percentage of over 57%. Thornbear's performance inside the circle is just another reason why Buffalo is ruling the roost in the Eastern Division. Making the honorable mention list for face-off wins is C.J. Costable of the Philadelphia Wings with 107 wins and an improved performance this season, 49% win percentage. And also Tyler Garrison of the Vancouver Stealth with 111 wins and a 43% win percentage. Now let's take a look at what rookies are getting the job done for their team so far this season. In the number one slot, no surprise, it's Tyler Digby of the Vancouver Stealth, who leads all rookies in scoring. 16 goals, 19 assists, combined with his 23 loose balls. Already second in team scoring, he's a big reason why Vancouver has remained relevant in their games despite their offensive struggles. In the number two slot, Riley Lowen of the Edmonton Rush, whose 19 points, 9 goals and 10 assists, have been a contributing factor in some of their wins, including a recent two-goal performance against the Philadelphia Wings a few weeks ago. 13 loose balls and fifth in team scoring. In the number three slot, it's Logan Schuss from the Minnesota Swarm. The overall number one draft pick getting into this season currently has 18 points, 10 goals, 8 assists, along with 33 loose balls. Overall third in team scoring, his four power play goals currently lead the team and he's continuing to show why the Swarm faithful are happy to have him in the yellow and blue. Also getting honorable mentions this week are Cody Bremner of the Vancouver Stealth with his 18 points, 7 goals and 11 assists, Robert Church of the Edmonton Rush with 18 points as well, and Garrett Thule from Philadelphia with 15 points, 9 goals and 6 assists. That does it for NLL Halftime. Thanks for watching. Hey, make sure to take to Twitter and let us know how your team is doing at the half. We'll be back to your game in just a moment. This is the National Lacrosse League on the Lacrosse Network.